It takes nearly two hours from the east side of Mosul to the town of Badush. According to India's External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj, it is to Badush that the 39 Indians missing in Iraq may have been taken by the Islamic State. Badush witnessed fierce battles. Iraq's Emergency Response Division had to fight house by house before reconquering it. Iraqi intelligence told the Indian government that the 39 missing Indians were brought to the town's jail. So this is the road which leads to the Syrian border, basically 100 kilometers so down to this road you'll meet the Syrian border. And here, what we can see, all this smashed building, this grounded area which is right here, a couple of hundred meters at my left, was the jail of Badush, the formal jail of Badush. This was a place which was used by the Islamic State to imprison many people, perhaps to torture them. And now it's completely destroyed. There is nothing anymore we can see. It looks like a flatland. One even has to struggle to find out the structure of the city. And right behind there, those houses we see far away, there are some trees, there is a big cement factory where a huge battle was going on. That's Baidush. That's the village, 16 kilometers from Mosul where the Indian government got intelligence from the Iraqi government saying that the, perhaps the 39 Indians were brought there. There is currently no military operation ongoing in the village of Badush. There is also a military base where US troops are staying along with the Iraqi troops. So, It is to this jail located in the middle of the desert close to Syria that the terrorist organization is reported to have brought many foreigners and Iraqi prisoners. Nearly nothing remains of the jail. The Islamic State used this jail in order to imprison all the citizens who were not abiding by their law. And perhaps what we know is that at a certain point of time, the 39 Indian workers were brought inside this. The town of Badush is an off-limits area for the media. But it is totally liberated and government forces are in full control of it. This despite the Iraqi government said to the Indian government that Badush is war-torn and therefore not accessible. Access to the village of Badush right now for the media is restricted by the Iraqi army. The Iraqi army is in full control of Badush. Since a long time they liberated it. There is no ongoing fighting inside the village of Badush. So perhaps the problem of access is because Badush contains a major military base and it is from there that the operation to reconquer the city of Talafar, still under control of the Islamic State, will start. An officer of the Iraqi army spoke to us on condition of anonymity about the situation of Badush. What is the situation right now in Badush? We have conducted a difficult operation in Badush at least two months back. And since then, the city is safe. The Iraqi army is in total control in Badush. There is a major military base where the Emergency Response Division is currently located. The border to Syria is closed and this might give hope to the families of the 39 Indian workers who disappeared. But the Islamic State may have also taken them to Syria to put them to work for the terror group. Right now, the area perhaps could be accessible when it comes to try to find out where the 39 Indians. Currently, the media are not allowed to go there, perhaps because of the American base and because the small village of Baidush will be from where the operation to reconquer the city of Talafar, which is still controlled by the Islamic State, will start. Daniele Pagani and video journalist Martin Aim on the border with Syria, village of Baidush, Iraq, for Vion.